in my opinion, music can make or break a video. Regardless if you have the best shots or the most scenic places, choosing the right song can help you express the emotion or feeling that you're trying to convey to your, your audience. So it's important to find the right song that fits your video. And if you're editing to the beat of the music, it's also important to have those cuts hit the beat just right. So today I'm gonna to show you how I edit my videos to music and also show you a technique that I use to get that cut just right. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up our video editing software. In this case, it's uh, Filmora 10. Uh, if you don't already know, if you haven't seen my other videos, I use Filmora 10 uh, to do all my edits. So what I'm gonna do is drag in all my clips and I'm gonna drag in my music. Now I get my music from Epidemic Sound. Uh, I've been using that for quite a while now. I also use Musicbed uh, from time to time, but uh, the main uh, source of music is uh, Epidemic Sound. So to start off, I'm gonna make sure all my settings are correct. Um, going to File and then Project Settings. Now I did record this in 4K at 24 frames per second. So I'm gonna set that to 24 frames per second. Make sure everything is all right with that. And then I'm going to lay out my music. Now, normally I choose my music before I even film. So the purpose of this is to uh, get a feel of the music so I'll know what kind of shots I wanna take once I get out there in the field. Now, um, this may not work for you, uh, but it does work for me. It, it helps out, uh, save a lot of time, instead of going out there and aimlessly flying around looking for shots. It saves time and it saves battery. So the nice thing about Filmora 10, uh, they have what's called beat detection. So it makes it a little easier to uh, you know, cut on the beats because it marks off each individual beat. So I brought in a different uh, track here because this track here I've already used in uh, this video, so it already detected the beats. Um, so I'm gonna select this track just for an example, and I'm gonna right click it, scroll down to where it says beat detection. And you click on that. So now it's analyzing the track to detect all the beats. Now once that's done, you can right click it again and go down to where it says beat options. And then you can choose uh, what beats you want it to mark off. So as of right now, it's gonna highlight every fourth beat. I kinda of like to go with every one beat, so I know where every one beat is, so I'm gonna change that to one. Click OK, and it tells you right now, it just tells you, you know, analyze the beats, and you can just go ahead and drag it down to your timeline. So I'm gonna drag it down to the timeline, and then you can see all these markers here that are in blue. So I'm going to stretch this out and you can see the markers a little better. So I'm just going to get rid of this, this track and I'm going to drag the actual track I'm going to use here. So I'm just going to play it from here just to get a feel of what the uh, intro would be like. So as you can see, or as you can hear, that this intro is kind of like a, a dreamy, dreamy type feel. So what I'm going to do is try to find a clip that fits that intro. And, you know, I've already picked one out. So it would be this one here. And all it is is a straight shot. Straight steady shot. So I'm going to start it pretty much from right here, cut it there, play it, all right, so we're definitely going to cut it right there on that beat, and what I'm going to do is stretch this out, it's important that you stretch out your timeline so you can actually see the markers here, so I'm going to show you a technique that I use to uh, get that beat right on or get the cut right on. Um, 
as you can see, if you cut this uh, beat right where it is right now, it would pretty much cut the beat in half. So what you do is actually cut it one frame behind. So when you're filming in 24, 25, or 30 frames per second, uh, this actually works pretty well. This is something I stumbled upon on YouTube quite a while ago, and I've been using it ever since. Um, I'll leave a link to the video in the description, but it has something to do with the way uh, the brain processes light uh, versus sound. And the way that the brain processes light uh, takes a little longer than it does to process sound. Now, I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave a link in the uh, description uh, below so you can check out the video that I saw that explained all this. And like I said, I've been using this ever since and I've been getting these beats right on. All right, so we're going to make this cut right here. And then we're just going to delete this. And we're just going to continue. All right. So let's scrub this back. And we need to find a, another clip that fits that right there. So let's take this one. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I think I have a backwards shot, just moving backwards here. So what I'm going to do is switch it up, switch up directions, and then just do it going backwards. Or I could have just reversed that shot, but I think it was some other movement in the it was some other movement in the shot. So you definitely would have been able to tell that it was a you know reverse uh, edit. So I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to start it here, cut it there, and then I'm going to ripple delete it. Go back. So what I'm going to do is cut it right here on this bass beat because you don't want to make your edits or you don't want to make your clips too long. So you just want to keep it moving and keep your audience interested. So I'm going to cut it right here and delete. So let's move this in here. All right, we're going to get it to where we have a smooth shot. And I think it starts getting smoothed out right there. So I'm going to cut it there. And ripple delete it. And cut it right there, one frame back. Delete. Start it right there all right so that one kind of ended a little bit uh, quicker so I'm going to drag this out drag the beginning out just a little bit longer so we won't get that little jerk at the end all right, so this is pretty much the chorus or the, I call it the bridge of the song. So I'm going to bring in a longer clip just to play out through that whole entire chorus. So I chose this one here. This is from an, another uh, previous video that I took some cinematic shots. So this is a shot of the waterfall or the, uh, the dam. And I'm going to start it as soon as I start moving. All right, so start moving there. So what I'm going to do is cut it. Actually, I want to make it a little longer. No, I cut it right there on that beat. Back. Rebel delete. So as you can see, I ran out of clips here, and uh, it's like a minute long right now. So I can just go ahead and end it here with this clip and just fade out the music, or I can actually uh, cut it or splice it and use the actual ending of the song. 
So what I'm going to do is scroll back and listen to it one more time and make the cut where it makes sense. So right here sounds like a good spot to make the cut. So what I'm going to do is just going to unlock the audio track, select it, go one frame back and cut it. Then I'm going to fast forward all the way down to the back of the track, find out where the, the ending is. All right, so that sounds like a good spot. So I'm going to stretch it out. Go back one, cut. Then I'm going to ripple delete. And what we're going to do is just use that last clip we're just going to play that last clip out. And I think we're done. All right, guys, stick around for the final results coming up at the very end of this video. I'm not going to leave you hanging. So like I said earlier, I did stumble upon that uh, technique or that one frame technique just by searching YouTube uh, for tips on editing. And also um, the using Filmora 9 does make it a lot easier to you know, find the beats in a song. If you're like a beginner, um, a person who's just starting out with editing, Filmora 10 is a, uh, a good software to start with. It's very intuitive. It's, you know, not too much of a learning curve. And um, I've been using it for maybe over a year now. So uh, definitely check it out. I do not have a, any affiliation with Filmora. So I'm just telling you, passing along information. So the footage used in this video uh, was pretty much stock footage I had just laying around and I put it to use. So if you I encourage you guys to go out there and, you know, take whatever footage you have, you know, put it up on the timeline and just go ahead and practice your edits. Uh, definitely use this technique. Try it out. If you like it, that's great. If you don't, you know, just find a way uh, that best fits your your needs. So with that said, go out and do something creative. And if you want, uh, you feel free to post it in our Facebook group. There'll be a link in the description below. And if you guys like this video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you think you know someone who liked this video or may find it useful, feel free to share it. And also, if you like this type of content and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time I drop a video. And again, stick around for the final clip. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.